Hey everyone and welcome to this treehouse tutorial. Let's get started right away. First we need a suitable tree. To get that there are two options. We find one that suits your needs or option two we build our tree ourselves. Today we will go with the second option. So we will start with a nice and level area to build our tree upon. Next we place four jungle saplings as shown and apply bone meal until they grow. Remember that we need enough room above the tree to grow tall enough. Since the first tree isn't high enough, we will be planting another one on top. For that, we remove some leaves for a 2x2 square and place some grass blocks inside. We put down four more jungle saplings and apply bone meal again until they grow into a tree. With our tree finished, we can kick off the actual treehouse build. First, we build a circle of mossy cobblestone walls around our tree, with the tree being closer to the edge than to the center. Remember to always leave one block between every wall piece so that they don't connect. Instead of mossy cobblestone, you can also use regular cobblestone walls or mossy brick walls. Then we will add our deck on top by placing oak planks on top of the wall sections, following the outline of the circle and then filling it up with more oak planks. As an alternative, we could also use jungle or birch planks. For the railing, we will place oak trapdoors all around and we'll leave a small space open for our stairs up. To finish this platform off, we will embellish the rim with signs to create some depth. Next up is the actual house further up the tree. We will build ours two blocks above the leaves of the first half of the tree. For this platform, we will build another circle around the tree, this time with the tree at the center. The platform will be filled in later. Use the same type of planks as you did for the first floor. The dimensions are displayed on your screen again. Since every tree grows differently, you might have to remove some leaves. We exposed the grass blocks by doing so, but that's swiftly fixed by exchanging them with jungle wood. Now our platform needs supports for which we will add birch fences to give a little bit more visual interest by using a different color. We start under the edge of the platform and work our way towards the tree so that we can connect the two supports closest to each other. Since we can't just have supports ending in the air randomly, we will be placing oak trapdoors underneath in the areas where no leaves are under the supports. Before beginning the actual house, we will fill in the platform. For our foundation, we will be using stripped spruce wood. The foundation will be built one block away from the edge of the platform. Next, we will build the corner post by placing two blocks of stripped acacia wood on top of our foundation. This way, the walls of the house will be three blocks high. Next, we will place some jungle planks left and right of the corner post, leaving a two block gap for the windows on three sides. The last side will be filled in completely leaving space for the door. The best wall for this would be the north wall as the sun rises in the east, travels over the south and sets in the west, and is never seen in the north. The window frame will be created by using jungle stairs for the top and nether brick slabs for the sill. For the door, any door you like can be used. We use the jungle door. Let's do the roof next. We start by placing oak slabs around the house for the edge.
After that, we switch over to birch wood for the first row and then to birch slabs to keep a low profile roof. To top off the roof and make the transition to the roof smoother, we will be using spruce slabs. And to complete the look, we will place spruce trap doors around the tree as well. Next we need some lights. For visual interest, we will be alternating lanterns and soul lanterns around the house. To finish the upper platform, we will first add a small protrusion where the stairs will come up. After that, we add trap doors and signs like we did for the lower platform. For the stairs, we first have to build our post around which we will place our set of winding stairs. For the post, we will be using the acacia fence. The stairs will be a winding staircase made from jungle stair. We are almost at the finish line. To have a little shade for a crafting area, we will build an awning. For the post, we will use acacia fence again, and for the cloth, we are going with white wool. But any white block is fine. If you want to be a little bit more creative, you can also make a striped awning by alternating between two different colored blocks. Last but not least, we will build a quick emergency exit. For that, place a slime block at the level of the platform and place a trap door in the floor of your treehouse right above the slime block. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you've been able to recreate this great looking survival house. If you have any requests for more tutorials, please write them down in the comments and while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. With that out of the way, all I have left to say is thank you for watching and have a great day.